What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the day before because I know I haven't really talked about it on the channel all that much, but I have been following it. And the only reason why I'm following it is because it's one of those big things that's going on with, you know, the open survival type game. And it's just had really, really sh PR, not gonna lie. So it it was put into question on whether this game was a scam or not. And me personally, I always thought that the game was real because the stuff that they did show off did look somewhat legitimate. Like there was a question into whether that was scripted or not. And so obviously there was a big backlash because they made some very poor PR decisions trying to advertise all this other stuff like Continent and their prop hunt aside from showing off this actual game here. So people wondered if the game was even real. Again, me personally, I. I thought that the game was real i just think that it's just not that good of a game at least at the time but now that the gameplay has come out it did confirm my thoughts that the game was real but it also confirmed that i didn't think it was going to be that good of a game because everything that they've shown has really not been compelling to me like sure it looks it looks you know good it just doesn't really catch my eye like oh snap this game is doing something different that other games have not done before no it's not one of those games for sure like it just feels very early to me like these guys if they were to release something like this this year it would feel not like a good game if you ask me i think what they have here is just okay like i haven't seen too much going on with it they ended up releasing this gameplay video and it is about 10 minutes long of gameplay but most of the time she's just running around maybe there's a time when it does show off a couple of things if you look down here there's like this little bar here it's a stamina bar and this character does run around actually collecting things you know there's like textures that are coming in and out right there in case you didn't see that you got like a workbench that this person just finds right here i think this is the workbench that they showed off in the trailer here you can make like a bunch of bandages bullets explosives that's okay, I guess. Medical supplies and all that. Even edit your weapon. Add muzzle, handguard, receivers, magazine, pistol grips, butt stocks, adapters. Actually make the AK look like a decent AK, you know? Or Deprov 74 or whatever the hell. That doesn't look too bad. They have a scavenging system where you just walk up to things and press F on it. Oh, I just noticed the inventory system right here. So you can put on a vest. I'm not even sure what that is. Maybe a helmet, glasses better pants maybe that's all got a cool backpack wait is that the same backpack no it's a different backpack why don't you have that one on that one looks better than this one well anyways i mean the environments don't look that bad it's just it looks very empty like there's like nothing here there's no zombies that are just walking around and stuff i was kind of expecting like dead matter level of zombies where there's just like a bunch of stuff but maybe there's like three zombies in one area and then you just take them out and then you're pretty much good to go. By the way, I think it's kind of funny that this entire time this person has like a suppressor on. She's being a little more tactical, whereas this dude over here, he doesn't have a suppressor on at all. So they just hear everything. He just <laughs> like, you know, so a lot of just walking around, not a whole lot of ambience or anything like that. It was a pretty boring trailer, but there were some interesting things I thought. Like messing around with this alarm right here to turn it off so that the zombies don't hear it. But... Even if they did hear it, I don't think they would come because there's just not a whole lot of zombies in the trailer. Like, there's such a rare thing. I guess they failed the thing right there, but that didn't do anything. As far as I could tell, there was no alarm. Yeah, like, the alarm doesn't do anything because there's no zombies or anything. I mean, the setting doesn't look too bad. It's just very empty. Like, what What even happened here? What's going on? Looks like a very just mid-tier game at the moment. Like, very early access. Like, I don't understand why this game is even... Like, second most wishlisted game on Steam. And they were going to plan to release it like this. Which, granted, it, it doesn't look terrible. But... It just looks very mediocre, like, or maybe low tier, because I just am not seeing a whole lot going on. I always thought that the game did exist, but it probably wasn't going to be that good. So is this entire city, like, explorable? Like, that's something that I would really like to know. Like, how big is the map? Is there going to be, like, a lot of zombies? Or is it just kind of, like one or two or three because i've only seen like maybe two or three in specific areas and that's if they actually run into any at all like there's like another three zombies right there like 
three or four zombies right there that they just like randomly spawned in. Maybe. Where's the hordes at, man? Give me those hordes. There actually might be like five of them right there. I mean, I don't even see the point in like sneaking around. There's only like a couple of them. You've taken them out pretty much with your AK. If you are outside, please find a shelter or another safe place. All citizens are strongly urged to remain calm. All citizens are advised not to leave their homes. like this chick is trying to be like a little bit stealthy with a suppressor but this dude over here doesn't have one he's just being loud as shit. like two different philosophies i don't think they show off like vehicle gameplay at all i would have liked to have seen what the safe zone looks like or you know multiplayer right because i'm sure you're going to be going up against players and stuff like that i mean the environments don't look too bad it's just where's the meat of the game you know i mean zombies don't look particularly good because it looks like they're just dispatching them like nothing like maybe if there was hordes of them and it's like oh my god i'm running low on ammo quick switch out no nah. i don't know man see what the comments say game's whole budget went to a res <laughs> phenomenal I wonder how the game would run if there was four or more zombies on screen yeah like seriously though like if they had like hordes i'm sure the game would run like shit. so maybe they took out a lot of the zombies so that it would run a lot better again they were trying to launch this game oh boy i don't know this game and the company is a meme and i'm here for the journey again the environments don't look terrible like it's just there's not a whole lot going on like if maybe they interacted with like that thing right there to turn on power or i don't know maybe tried to get one of these cars to run or something it just feels like a very generic zombie type game you know but what are your guys thoughts let me let me know i probably said this before but again it's it's not a game that i thought was fake it's just it really had like crappy pr it just looks you know okay i guess walking simulator watch out the last of us because the day before has arrived until they change the name following the trademark issues i mean that's another thing too like i thought they were having trademark issues because right now they're using the same freaking name right here the, uh, so are they having trademark issues i don't even know i'm so confused with this it looks really artificial yeah so uh that's where i'm probably gonna leave this video what are your guys thoughts let me know